you when you dance, dance, dance. Girl. I'm doing very good. How are you? Oh, it's so crazy. I know that we're. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Just Is that in case you want. No, I'm, I'm Emma Taylor. I'm the oh, star. Oh, Emma. Yeah. The rock star has fancy hair too, though. Yes, he does. Oh, you saw Rockstar, huh? Honey, I checked your Instagram. <laughs> ah, that's funny. He's a brand new puppet. I literally um, just put him in this week. Rockstar. Wow, that's a cool name. Is that your given name? Yeah, I gave it to myself. Look, I'm bored. Just start the song. All right, fine. I gotta ask you, after being, you know, quarantined and, and you know, locked down for so long, have you ever appreciated being on stage with a live audience more than ever before now? Never. I, I mean, th just being able to get in front of a crowd and I got to tell you um, you know after 11 years at the Mirage which was incredible and I had such a good time moving into a a, a place like the Liberty Loft where I am now at the New York New York Hotel and Casino uh, especially after a year of lockdown it's so intimate it feels it really feels like a comedy club vibe which yeah. I, I just adore I love that kind of small I like to feel like I'm in someone's living room. And so, I, look, if I'm gonna be here for the next 10 years, which I'm hoping this is, it, I could not have had handpicked a better place. Cause it's so, it's just, I love, I, I love feeling, I can feel the energy of the crowd so well. It's incredible. I know people would probably be like a little nervous. Your fans like, wait, he's moving to New York? Uh, <laughs> New York in Vegas. <laughs> I have had that. They're like, oh my God, you're going to New York. Are you kidding me? And it's like, no, 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 no. I'm staying in Vegas. This is New York, New York hotel. <laughs> You're a Vegas guy now. You've been here so long, it's like, this is your home. I am. Well, let me ask you, Mr. Tranquilitist. Could you sing like Elvis and not move your lips? Well, yeah. Do it. If you could, by the way, since you are such a singer and you love that so much, if you could do a duet or have any Vegas headliner join you on stage for a song, who would you pick and why? Oh man, um, you know, I am old school. I would love to do something with Justin Bieber because I have a Justin Bieber puppet. And I did that not just out of comedy, out of because I think he's an incredibly talented person. I think it'd be a hoot to do a duet with somebody like Justin Bieber or, you know, I've got a Paul McCartney puppet. That would be really fun to do. A, uh, any of my puppets that are that of yes. celebrities that are still alive would be fun to do a, a, a duet with them. Well, Justin's coming for like a three day weekend at the Wynn. He's gonna do like a residency. So I'm gonna I put this that. out there. Let's go, <laughs> Justin, pop on over and do peaches. <laughs> do That'd peaches, Perry. <laughs> That'd be fun. In the sha sha la 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 lo. In the sha ha sha ha lo. Let's talk about your newest addition to the Fader family. He really likes to rock, right? Yes, he does. In fact, this and now there's just a little backstory on this guy. He uh, uh, I had him in my dressing room for the last few years. I think I may have bought him like five years ago, and he's literally sat in my in a chair in my dressing room. And then of course when the quarantine happened and I moved out of uh, out of the Mirage, we we put him in storage. Actually, I put him in, in storage here in my house. I pulled him out the other day and I thought, you know, I should do this. I, I don't really have a guy who can do heavy metal. I mean, I don't mean, know, the song he did was Billy Squire, but you know, yeah. kind of hard rock. Uh, yeah, Cause I think Dougie Scott Walker, my stoner, I think he's more of a Leonard Skinner kind of guy. He's sure. not, you know, he's more of a Southern rock kind of guy. So, yeah. so I pulled this little guy out and he was made by a, a young man named Landon Harvey, who I think, oh, what's going on? Hey was, dude. Is that right, Jill? It is. How you doing? Rock on! Nice to see you, love. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm bored. <laughs> of course he's bored. See, this this character here, I, I don't have a character. Right, well, um, this guy here is, I, I figured he was a rock star who had literally experienced everything in the world, and no matter what it is, I'm bored. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> How could he be bored? Because look at that fancy, look at that amazing hair. But I like to rock. <laughs> right. <laughs> who does it, right? Exactly. I'm not happy if I'm not rocking. <laughs> <laughs> you see I'm coming at you every night. Strong on the dead and it's all for you in first sight. Thank you for your time. I hope next time we see you, it'll be in person, you know? I hope so too. Yeah, you should definitely come out and see the new show at, at uh, the Liberty Loft at New York, New York. It's so, uh, it's just so intimate and beautiful. And and we're we're um, turning it into like a whole Terry Fader experience. So when you walk in, we're gonna put some memorabilia on the walls and some things that I've done. It's just, it's gonna be a blast. Trust me, it's gonna be amazing. Palmer.